Hi, welcome to Briona's Pickleball. My name is Jordan Briona's, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about stacking. You're not gonna wanna miss this one. Now, let's jump right in. If you haven't heard of stacking before, stacking is a way that you can position you and your partner in a certain way on the serve and the return so that you can end up on a certain or preferred side. There's actually many different ways to stack and there's many different reasons to stack as well. In this video, we're going to focus on how to stack and how to do it efficiently and effectively. And in a future video, we'll talk about certain reasons that you should stack and why these certain situations would make sense to do so. All right, when it comes down to stacking, you can really divide it up into two buckets stacking on the serve and stacking on the return. In this video, we're going to show you some ways that you can stack on the serve and ways that you can stack on the return. There are various different ways to stack, but we're going to show you the basic ones and how to do it efficiently. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna start off with is stacking on serve. Now I have my wife, Katrina, here with me today, and we're going to show you a couple different examples of how you can stack when you're on serve. Okay, so if I'm playing a game and I'm here on the even side of the court and my wife Katrina's on the odd side of the court and this is where we want to be after the serve, then we don't have to do anything, right? I could just serve it here and then we would play out the point from there. But let's say I actually wanted to be on the odd side of the court during play because you know, maybe I'm stronger on that side or we wanted to do something strategically with me on that side and Katrina on the even side here. So how do we get there? Well, this is what stacking does and you can utilize this and practice this when you go out on the courts. All right, so if I am serving from the even side of the court, but I wanted to end up on the odd side after my serve, what we can do is we can have Katrina on the right side of me. So she's gonna come over here. Now, as long as the server serves from the correct side, the service partner could stand anywhere on the court or off the court, okay? So she would be on the right side of me. And notice here how we're both on the same side of the court. That's totally okay, as long as I'm serving from the correct side and I'm the correct server. So a stack would look like this. After I serve the ball, I would slide over here and then Katrina would slide over a little bit so that we would be covering the court well. Now I'm on my desired side. I can look like this. All right, so that was me serving from the even side and me wanting to end up on the odd side of the court. So let's say we're in the same formation and it's Katrina serve now, okay? So she's going to be serving from the odd side cross court, okay? Now, again, if my preferred side is going to be that side, what I would do is I would just go on the left of her, okay? So now she would serve the ball and then we would shade over and slide over towards our right. So she would go on the even side over there and then I would just fill in right here and stay on the odd side where I wanna be. All right, so that's a way on serve where you can position you and your partner in a certain way and then just slide to the left or slide to the right and end up in your preferred side or preferred position. So what I showed you right there, I call the traditional stack. Now I'm gonna show you a way where we're going to do the same thing and switch sides, but this one's called the switch stack. All right, here we are with the same scenario. I'm serving on the even side, cross court, but I wanna end up on the odd side of the court. With the switch stack, you are not telegraphing where you're going to end up. So this is why the switch stack could be a good option if they are targeting someone on the return. All right, so I'm here serving on the even side and after my serve, Katrina is gonna swing quickly behind me and we are going to switch positions. So I'm on my preferred side 
on the odd side and then she's on the even side. So one quick little thing that we really want to make sure is that we know who's going behind and who's going in front. I like to do it where whoever is the server is going to go in front and the person that's the service partner is swinging behind. Okay, so again, this is a really good stack because they don't know where you're going to end up and it's harder for them to target a certain player on the return. All right, so now let's show you the other scenario where Katrina is serving from the odd side and I'm on the even side, but we want to end up on the opposite side. So what she's going to do, she's going to serve and I'm quickly again going to come behind her and she's going to slide over and we're going to switch really quickly after her serve. All right, so like you can see there with the switch stack, the opposing team is not going to know where you're going to end up, right? You can switch at any time and at times you're not gonna switch. So this really helps if they're targeting a certain player on the return and you just wanna switch it up or switch sides. All right, so now we're gonna talk about stacking on the return, which is definitely a little bit trickier and is going to require a little bit more movement. All right, so like the previous scenario, we'll stick with that to keep things simple. If I am returning now and I'm on the even side, but again, I wanna end up on the odd side of the court up at the non-volley zone line, we're going to have to position ourselves in a way we, where we are switching or we are sliding over. So I'm going to show you first the traditional stack and then I'm going to show you the switch stack. All right, so here again, I would like Katrina to end up on the even side and me end up on the odd side. So in a regular scenario, I'm going to be returning, right? And then I'm going to be coming up straight up to the non-volley zone. But if I want to be on that side, we're going to have to adjust it a little bit. So Katrina is actually going to come across and she's going to actually be outside of the court. Now, again, as long as the person returning the ball is the correct person to return. The partner could stand anywhere they would like. So Katrina does not even have to be on the court. So the reason why that she's way off the court is this gives me freedom to return, you know, cross court or down the line, right? So she's not in the way. So it would look like this. I would receive the serve. I would return and, in and instead of going straight on I would have to go cross court here and Katrina would slide in just like so. Now I said this was a little trickier and it requires a lot more movement because of the distance I have to cover, right? Instead of going straight on, I have to be fairly quick to get cross court and get up to the non-volley zone line. So it's really imperative that I get a very deep return and with some height so that it allows me to get to the non-volley zone. All right, so now let's go over the same scenario but with Katrina returning on the odd side. So in a regular, scenario here she would hit her return and then come straight up and we would be like this in this position okay but again if I want to be on the odd side and she wants to be on the even side we're going to have to do something a little bit different and that's going to be me going off the court all right so this is mirrored this is the same thing that we just showed you previously now the server is going to serve to her she's going to return and then she's going to quickly go cross court and I'm just going to slide in
All right, so now we're gonna show you the switch stack on the return. And again, in that traditional stack with the person on the sidelines off the court, you know where the players are gonna go and the other team is going to know where you're gonna end up. With the switch stack, it kind of disguises that and this is why I really like the switch stack. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for the serve and after I return it, Katrina's gonna slide over and switch and then I'm gonna come cross court up to the non-volley zone line. So you can see how using the switch stack, your opponents won't know if you're going to switch or not switch. So this is why I really like this play. Again, when you are stacking on the return, there's a lot more ground to cover because you're going cross court towards the non-volley zone line. So make sure you have adequate time and that your returns are deep and they have height on it so that it allows you time to get up to the non-volley zone. All right, so lastly, I wanna talk about signals on the switch stack here on the return. Now you might have seen players do this and it's just a really good thing to at least know, all right? So when we're in this formation, Katrina could just return and come up, or like we just showed you in the switch stack, I could come over here and she could swing behind me. Now, one way that we can kind of disguise that and not switch all the time is by using hand signals. So what I'll do behind my back, okay? So I'll either have open hand here, um, and that is, a signal that I'm going to switch or a close hand here and that's a signal I'm going to stay. So there again are several ways that you can signal to your partner what you're going to do and again on the switch stack it's just a really good method to use so that your opponents don't know where you're going to end up. All right, so that concludes this video on stacking. Now there are a variety of other ways to stack, but these are the main ones that players use. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give this video a like. And again, we're going to be coming out with a video in the future on different reasons that you should stack and why you should really consider practicing these kinds of things. So again, thanks so much for watching us in this video and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. For a free pickleball workout routine that is guaranteed to level up your game, head on to brioniespickleball.com forward slash workout. Before you head on over there, make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel and hit that little bell icon so that you can be notified every time we release a new video. Again, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Have this feeling, feeling. haven't felt for so long, took a hold of